If you can find this limiting reagent, you will never lose marks again. The limiting reagent is the reactant that runs out first in a reaction. To make things easier, instead of looking at a reaction, let's look at the act of putting together a burger. If you react a bun with a patty, you end up with a burger. And they react in a one to one to one ratio. Simple. So if you have three buns and five patties reacting together, you'll be able to form three burgers overall. Since the first bun combines with this patty, the second with this one, the third with that one. Once you've reacted those three buns though, you've run out. You have no more buns left to react with the final two patty. Now that means two things. The buns, seeing as they ran out first, are the limiting reagent in this reaction. And number two, the patties, because there are too many of them, there's an excess, and these patties here can be referred to as the excess reagent. We can also say that the total amount of product you form is the yield. In your mod to exam this term, your teachers will probably ask you to find the excess reagent or find the yield. And all you need to do is find which of your reactants is limiting by turning them to moles and comparing their amounts, then using the moles of whatever is limiting to find the excess reagent or to find the yield. And that is all you need to know about limiting reagents. If you're struggling with the calculations of mod 2, chuck us a follow and we'll see you in the next one.